Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Speak of devil. Oh, my word. What a moron. I don't give a shit what you do to Lynn, but you better not hurt Donnie. Of course, Joseph. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Are you immortal, my good friend? <sighs> Guess I'll fuck myself then. Hello everyone, it is the Almighty Jeff and this is episode 12 of Saints Row. Last time we picked up our second hitman list for the Vice Kings and took care of the first two targets. We cleared off the list of the Carnalis tags and thus unlocked Infinite Sprint. We then completed the second drug trafficking with Tobias um, and we're operating around the Carnalis territories getting that one finished and we finally finished up with the Fillmore parking garage stronghold for the Vice Kings and so we basically took care of a group of VKs that were messing with gambling things and messing with Julius's hockey game. So we dealt with them with um, with injustice. Um, we are picking up our next two Hitman targets. The first one we are working on is, if we can find him, Richard, who's around the high-end retail district, and he is actually in the high-end retail district with uh, a 44 Shepherd. So I've made my way over here. It's sort of early in the morning, and I am, of course, over here. He was actually in the... Um, in, in a limo. Um, specifically that one over there, I just pulled him out before I started the episode just to make sure that he didn't get away. But yeah, it wasn't too hard to find. So we're going to move on to target number two, which is Henry, which is also around the same area. I think he also is in the retail district. And apparently he's a limo driver, so I managed to score one of these and hopefully that should increase our chances of finding him. We've got to take him out with a T3K Urban, which is the submachine gun that I've got. So, as per usual, I will do a quick cut, and I will see you when we find him. Alright guys, i found him. It's only bloody ages. Right. God damn it, Henry. <laughs> um, yeah, I was driving around with the limo for ages, couldn't get him to spawn in, and then I just decided to do a reset, so I saved the game, reloaded it, and came to the district and he came up pretty much straight away, so that must have been it. So yeah, pretty cool, that's our two targets are dealt with. I'm gonna pop by Friendly Fire, from Friendly Fire, sorry, Rim Jobs, and we're gonna bring out our FBI because we are going to do a Mayhem, which we've not done in a while, and obviously, if you remember the last time that we did it, the just driving around with the FBI is actually quite a quick way to finish the activity, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna fix up that ride. So, let's go and pick it up. We're going to do the one up in Misty Lane, which is just around the corner, thankfully. Let's head on round. So we are going to do two activities today. Obviously, we don't have any tags left to do. We'll be starting up CDs, I believe, in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to get two done today. And hopefully neither of them should be too bad. None of them are drug trafficking anyway, so... We've got that going for us. Why did... Okay, you know what? I'm beyond asking. That's just the game. Right, let's get it started. Decoy. Reno wants to see you in the back. All right, Reno. What's up, sub, yo? I appreciate you coming around on short notice, man. I got some shit that needs to be worked out. Some cop just transferred to town and he ain't paying me any respect. The bitch came in here running his mouth telling me he was gonna put me out of business. Son of a girl. What that Uncle Tom nigga didn't know was I got a couple of cops on the payroll and they told me the raid was tonight. I want you to go out there and stir up so much shit the cops gotta look elsewhere. And while they on your ass, I can hide all the cat. I know it sounds risky, bro, but don't worry. You'll get acid pay. Okie dokie. Oh, I've got to go all the way to truck yard. Are you kidding me? Miles away. Uh, but yeah. So, same procedure as before. Go into an area. Cause some chaos. Do a certain amount of damage in a certain part of the map. And that's all there is to it. Obviously, if we hit more things in a quick sequence, we build up a combo, meaning we make more money and get the activity done quicker. And whilst you do go to an area, they do grant you a certain amount of weapons to cause damage on foot. It's a lot quicker just to drive around in the in a vehicle and just run things over. 
you want to be in a tough vehicle, so the FBI is usually the best bet. So we'll do that. They've seriously put me about as far away as I could as they could do for the first level I if I've noticed that. Which is incredibly rude, but this is all gonna be in West Side Rollers territories or at this point of the game former West Side Rollers territories. Right, we have arrived. Straight away, we've got some uh, fences. Bit at 20k already, that's not too shabby. Got a lot of fences actually. Yes, I know, I know. Watch it. You me. Yeah, come on, come on! There we go. Done and done. Easy as that. Alright, I'll see you at level 8. Alright, guys, heading into level 8. And, uh, oh, we're actually still in the same territory. Um, yeah, we, we started and we've ended in, uh,. <laughs> In the truckyard district. Um, not really had any issues so far. Should probably keep my mouth stump just in case I do. Um, but I have noticed, especially in areas where they don't have an awful lot of things to quickly destroy, it's just as beneficial, if not more so, to actually just use the FBI to build up a combo and then just destroy something that will get you the bonus that it tells you about. So as you can see, it told me about... Um, the sports cars and the vans and all that, and I can't remember which one it said was the best weapon to use. I'm probably talking over it. Um, but yeah, I found that could actually be quite a quick round ender as well. Of course, we can actually build up a nice combo in this area because of these fences right here, and they also have a quick respawn time as well. You can see, I could literally just turn around and the ones down here are all starting to respawn again, so... It's very difficult to fail this one, if you're in Truckyard, anyway. I'm not saying I won't, because I probably will now that I've said that. But... Yeah. You can see, we're getting quite a lot of money just for pretty simple stuff at this point. We're very close now. With a combo like that, I reckon we should just be able to get out. Can you get some distance, please? Don't want you driving right into me. Oh, not quite. Thought I might have just done it then, but it's fine. Should just be able to finish it off pretty easily. Come on now. Don't screw me over. Don't you do it. Do it, do it, do it. There we go. Sweet. No no problem. All right, level's done. And we've unlocked the pipe bombs at the crib, which, um, unless we really have targets that need to be killed with the pipe bomb, it's not going to be of much use to me, but it's a reward. Okay, I'm going to go get myself healed up, and then I'm going to head up to the next roller's mission up in Misty Lane. So I'll see when we get there. All right, guys, we are here. Ready for the mission. Some rollers outside, apparently they're not going to notice me. As you can see, I've actually got a fully customised Venom Classic. I did decide to um, to basically pip that out. That's going to be our new boss car. So, the Raycast has been retired for the time being. Um, but yeah, anywho, let's get on with the next mission. Thinking outside the box. I know he's your friend, Joseph, but I will not let that Nimrod ruin my plans. Your plans? Our plans. Look, Donnie may be a little flaky, but he always steps up at the end. I certainly hope so. Lynn and I got this shit down. This should be compelling. <laughs> Our <laughs> oh, come on. this shit out. So we lost the parts the buyers wanted, and there's no way another shipment like that is going to roll through here again anytime soon. Lynn and I did the math, and there are a couple of key cars that we can strip down to get the parts we need. See what I tell you? This guy's a fucking genius. I'm gonna go get the boys ready. So your plan is to go steal cars. You really know how to think outside the box, Donnie. Don't talk to him like that. I'll take your advice to heart. It's not advice. A oh. I'll refer oh God. Listen up, you old man. Don't don't worry about. Shut, Shut up, up, Donnie. Donnie. You were. <laughs> oh, come I was on, about poor Donnie. To tell you to go fuck yourself. And here I thought we were bonding. Let's go, Donnie. That's probably the smartest thing you've said all day. 
This guy's so asking for it, isn't he? Stopping those hijackings really fucked things up for the rollers. They got a whole list of cars that they're planning on jacking. Make sure they can't find what they're looking for. Okay, so they're all from stealing the cars they need. So take it, we're gonna be blowing up these cars. These poor civvies going around. It's for the time of their lives. Or not, and then we're just gonna rock up. This black so proud, bitch. Shoot him in the face. It is what it is. Can't be helped. It's for the greater good, trust me. Oh, it's just parked up. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, I yeah, I don't have anything. Okay, no worries. Oh, where are you? Oh, yeah. Okay, okay. That was wasn't the best performance of my life, but it's doable. Up to tire. God damn it. Oh, actually, we've got a, uh, a room jobs. Okay, okay. It's boogie. That's not good. This is why I'm against the road. Oh my god, come on, car. What are you doing? Oh my god, this is not this is not going well. By any stretch of the definition. Oh that's embarrassing. Okay. It wasn't actually that big a deal. <laughs> I thought it would have uh, ended the ended the mission, but seems not. Come on. Are you going, you douche? Oh, get out of the bloody way! Oh, this is really awkward to control. Okay, you gonna go boom? Oh dear. I mean, I'm getting, I'm getting fairly beaten up here. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh -oh. Go, 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 hurry up, hurry up, open up, open up, open up. <laughs> I did not think we were making it there. Good damn, these guys are doing a number of their old cars. They don't, they don't need my interference. Oh, 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 <laughs> speak of devil. Oh my word, what a moron. Okay. Just know that I'm gonna get blamed for this. Look at like, those damn saints, they destroyed our cars. I'm like, well, did I? Did I really? I don't think I did. <laughs> you just, you've got morons. Let's see who you've got. But where are you? There we go. I find you. Take us on. Let me show you why. Ah! That's how you do it. No issue. I'll handle this. Donnie, slow down. 
Don't worry about it. It, it wasn't your fault. I know you are. It's okay. Just relax, man. Yeah, you do that. Later. Fuck! That was productive. That's the second oh time my I God. fucked us! Three times, if you count the attack on the garage. Quite a coincidence. What do you mean? Well, let's think. The same four people knew about those jobs. If I didn't sell us out, and you didn't sell us out, who else is there? Donnie? Donnie may not like it when things get messy, but there's no way he'd turn on me. Which brings us to... Lynn. Bravo. Uh-oh. This is gonna be a bitch to explain to Donnie. Luckily, you're not going to. What do you mean? Please, you're too attached to the boy. I'll handle this. I don't give a shit what you do to Lynn, but you better not hurt Donnie. Of course, Joseph. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Oh dear, oh dearie, dearie, dear. Okay, didn't pick up any new territories, but... Oh well. Right, um... Oh yeah. Which is a way that we could just call it, obviously, you know, we didn't see it. Oh yeah, there's um, a pushback in Fillmore, so I guess we'll do that whilst we're around here. Where, the, where, where are they? Oh, they're up there, okay. Oh my word. So I can't see... I'm very spread out. But yeah, obviously, the boss didn't actually... Well, not the boss, he's not the boss yet, but a uh, player, he didn't see that conversation being had. This is really confusing. Um, we can just call. Oh, I, I say call up Lynn as if he would. He, he just phone and they're just like, "Hello," and then there'd just be absolutely no response whatsoever. It's like, "Is this you?" Don't say a word if my life's under threat. But yeah, unfortunately that's uh, not the way how it goes. But yeah, I do not like Sharp the slightest. He's he's uh he's just a douche. <laughs> Alright. Some more guys over here. Why oh, are you also spread out? Oh my god just popped another tire. <laughs> just slid off the side of the car. That's great. That's bloody great. Right, where are we actually going here? Okay, so the bow are there. Oh. Um. Yeah, looks like it's this one. Why does the territory have to be so bloody big? Oh my god. Jesus Christ, how many people are there? You kidding? Why are we not? Why are they we... not taking damage? Are you immortal, good sir? I'm not. Okay, we're done. No D hell. Anywho, um, okay, we're all up to date with that. That's cool. Um, I'm gonna call and pop by the crib and pick up my money and weapons, get it all topped up, and then I'm actually going to head down to the hijacking activity down at Wardle Airport. So I'll see you when we get there. All right, folks, we are here. Let's go ahead and get it started. Short and sweet. Let's cut to the chase. Name's Ralph. My shipping company is fucked and I need help. I've got a list of shipments from our competitors. You go and rob those motherfuckers blind, you hear me? You keep whatever money you make. I just want those bastards to be hurting. You in? Okay. I can do that. Obviously, same as before. 
We will track down a vehicle, do enough damage to it to make it stop, and bring it home. Sounds simple, but sometimes the game uh, doesn't give you the the best vehicle to catch up with um, who you're dealing with. But for the first few levels, we should be fine at least. So we're going to La Fuerza, which is also another place you can get this vehicle for that last chop shop that we did, but obviously they were easy enough to find out in the wild anyway, so it's not too big a deal. And there we go. Simple as. See you at level 8. Is that what I did game? Or did the stupid AI drive off the side of a fucking... Alright guys, we're at level 8. Jesus Christ. This has been more difficult than I expected. Um, not sure if I remember to keep it in the cup, but in level 5, the first time I tried to do that, the idiot AI in control of the vehicle and needed to hijack, drove it into the water. So I ended up failing the activity and to go back and restart. Um, and some of the vehicles that I've had in the last couple of levels have just been really poor to drive. Uh, I've done the run buddy turn again, haven't I? Um, and I've just been getting absolutely hounded by the cops and the canalis and all that stuff. So yeah, I've only failed once and it wasn't my fault, but the other times I have struggled. Put it that way. Where the hell are you? Why are you all the way over there? Why have I got less than a minute to catch you? That seems a bit like bogus to me. Could just be me though. But yeah, we'll get this done. We'll have our second of three hijacking activities done. New set of vehicles that we could possibly use for chop shops if we need them. For oh, goodness sake. Um, yeah, that's all about there is to it. It's just one of those activities. We're going to have to do them all eventually. Get it out of the way. This is a ridiculous amount of distance I've got to cover in such a short time limit. I'm not even going to get there before. Oh my god, no, 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 no! Okay. Why oh, have you got me against a swap van game? Really? I can't imagine this is going to go down with many hits, is it? Okay, well maybe we can improvise. Are you immortal, my good friend? Guess I'll fuck myself then. Please don't tell me this is stuck. Okay. Okay. Alright, well thankfully we're right next to a forgive and forget and I'm not taking any risks. Thank you very much. Oh my word, I cannot wait to get this bloody activity finished. Because this has been ridiculous. Honestly, I don't think I would have been able to do it with the state that I was in before. Because I was really low on ammo and everything. I was going to get myself topped up before I even started the activity, but the friendly fire was shot. And I thought, hey, you know what, I could probably do it with just the pistol. Um, but I didn't have enough ammo to see me through the entire activity. So after I failed the, the last time, I went back to the crib and restocked and popped by friendly fire, topped up on all my ammo. But there we go, level 8 completely done. Leatherface, well, that's a new set of clothing. Fantastic. Lovely jubbly. 
Okay, I'm actually going to do one more thing, and it's actually something that um, my girlfriend Evra took me off on. Um, I wasn't planning on doing this Let's Play because it's not an activity per se, but it does apparently have a unique cutscene. Uh, we're going to go visit the, um, the lawn shack up here, so I'll see when we get there. Alright folks, we're here. Don't know where this is going to go, I don't think I've ever seen this cutscene, so... Borrow money from Mike and Dan, just pay them back on time. Okay, only ties. No, you piece of shit, I don't care. Did I say I was looking for excuses on my money? You got two fucking days. After that, I'm taking the guitar you bought and the hand that strums it. You understand me? Goodbye. Hey, sorry about that. My brother's a musician. So you're looking for a loan? <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know if I should return it. I'm quite curious to see what happens if we don't. I think they, I think they send people after you, from what I'm aware. Um, hmm. So yeah, I might leave it and then see what happens, and then you guys can see that, and then uh, we'll pay it back afterwards. But yeah, I think that's that's about everything I want to do. Okay, now I know I usually go through my statistics first. I'm gonna do my uh, my game save first because I'm. Worry of uh, screen things up as I always do. So I went up four percent. You know, back to back to our average. Done a mission. Done two activities. So I was hoping we'd get a bit more, but it's uh, it's no problem. And then let's have a look at our statistics. So we are at C. So we've done sixteen out of twenty nine activities. Sixteen out of thirty six missions. Um. Yeah, that's about it. Obviously not started CDs yet, that's the only one that we've not made a start on, but we'll be doing that next time. But yeah, I think that's about everything, so pretty cool. Alright guys, that's what we're going to end for today, so yeah. Been one of those episodes. The, uh, to be honest, we did pretty fine until hijacking, that's really the only thing that um, screwed me up quite a few times. But we've got it done now, so that's all that matters. I believe next time we'll start off with our next two targets. Um, we are going to do a race, I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 we're not doing an activity next time. We're um, doing that, doing the Rollers Stronghold that we've opened up, the next LC mission, and then I think we're picking up our first 10 CDs. I think that's what we're doing. I think that's what I've got laid out. So that should be quite an interesting one. Before I put, let me take a second to thank my amazing patrons. My £5 patron is Ron Hyler. You can find links to his channel as well as my other £3 patrons in the description down below. I don't screw a secret to my £1 patrons. Thank you so much for one. It is truly appreciated and it goes a long way to help the channel, so I do thank you a lot for that. And if you should go on Patreon, you can find a link in the description down below. If you don't have to do that, because at the end of the day, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.